Ladies and gents, please put your hands together and welcome onto the stage, Buzz! You said it, Greg! I am Buzz, the only primetime presenter with legs shorter than his head is long. So, who will be joining me on this trivia pilgrimage? Just buzz in if you want to play. Now, choose yourself a character. You'll need some clothes to wear. Scroll through the outfits with the colored buttons. Now choose which of these tasteful noises you want your buzzer to make. And now, input your name. Scroll through the letters with your colored buttons. Select them with your buzzer. You know the deal. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> mm. Someone's got to choose the first subject, and I say it's you. Hmm. Tunes coming right up. <laughs> Questions ready? Trivia glands ready? Just press the colored buttons to answer as we play Point Builder. When you know the right answer, select it using the colored buttons in your own time. The 1990s cartoon starring a wacky wallaby is Rocco's modern what? The correct answer is... All of you wrong! Inside, I'm weeping and not for joy. Where do we meet Luigi, a 1959 Fiat 500? Did anyone get it right? <laughs> some of you look foolish, some of you don't. All the same to me. This sailor comes from which land? Two spectacular failures in a row. Oh, I still love you, though. Who wants Tweety Pie on the menu? Oh, yeah. Well, I never. Did you just get one right? Miguel and Tulio are on the road to where? Yes, yes! Rocking two questions in a row, the lot of you. Nice. Who is Springfield's lazy and incompetent chief of police? Like a burglar in a pet store, you've taken the lead. Pumping iron and building points, it's the Mask Goliath who takes the lead. Now, from here on in, if you're losing, you're choosing. Meaning, if you're in last place, it's your job to choose the category. Tunes is your selection. It's that time again when I test your knowledge with the aid of unstable explosives. Let's play Short Fuse. Here comes a bomb. Answer right to lose it. In which 2006 movie did Bruce Willis provide the voice of R.J. the food-loving raccoon? Never! Who is TV's favorite bilingual explorer? Oh. 
lose that bomb. In which show is Launchpad Lousy at Land? So young, so beautiful, so damaged by comical combustibles. And Kang! When asking, can we fix it? Which character always answers, yep. Get rid of that bomb! Which Springfield resident runs the Quickie Mart? Pass it on! Pass it on! Which Madcap Looney Tunes character comes from Down Under? No! What were Pinky and the Brain trying to achieve? Don't hang on to it! Which type of barnyard animal is cartoon loudmouth Foghorn Leghorn? Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Who is Patty and Selma Bouvier's younger married sister? Very wrong indeed. In A Bug's Life, which evil insect is after... It's carnage! Won't someone think of the poor points? It's lit! Prepare for carnage. In 1973, which outlaw did Disney animate? Lose that bomb! Which actor played Bunny Buddy Eddie Valiant in Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, oh no! Who does Gromit save from the dangers of mutant rabbits and electric le- No. In Disney's 101 Dalmatians, who is the fur-loving villainous? Toss that bomb! Which of Megatron- Bang! And your points are gone! When it comes to bombs, you need the cold heart of a true nerd to come out on top. <laughs> Righto! Before you all head off to tend to your shrapnel wounds, I'm going to need our last place player to pick a category for the next round. Here come some questions on cartoons. <laughs> fastest finger! Self-explanatory, really. Answer fastest, score largest. Simplicity itself. Remember, fast answers means more points. In Futurama, what unusual facial affliction does Leela have? It's called fastest finger, not slow motion trivia, whatever, well done, points are yours. Who's flying in to see us? Very fast, very right, very surprising. What's she cooking up? Two clean cues all round. Nicely played. In the 2000 movie Chicken Run, who would like to see Ginger in a chicken pie? <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. That was fast. I like that about you. Which animation studio is responsible for this dynamic duo? Close. <laughs> Might have been a guess. <laughs> I don't care. Well done. Donald and Daffy are both examples of which aquatic bird? You 
you do know that if you'd got that wrong, buzzing as fast as that, I'd have been merciless. He may be extraordinarily ugly and dull, but at the end of Fastest Finger, he's got more points than you! Well, you're in last place, so the undignified honour of choosing a category is yours. Hmm. Blockbusters. I'll have a pee, please, Bob. It's time to get messy, answer fast, and get the chance to throw dessert at your opponents. Let's play Pie Five. Remember, folks, the fastest correct answer will gain control of the pie. Let's go! Whose mother thinks that life is like a box of chocolates? <laughs> Hit your buzzer to stop the crosshair on the player you want to... Look out! Pied! Pies cost lives, people, and you only get two lives each, so watch it, you. Which 1997 movie tells the tale of an unsinkable ship? <laughs> Who's for the pie? I don't misremember. Hungry? Knocked off the point's perch by the power of the pie. Hey, hey! In which series of mythical movies are non-wizards called muggles? Mmm, here's the right answer. <laughs> which member of Ocean's Eleven is also on the run as assassin Jason Bourne? <laughs> this pie's someone's name on it. Choose whose. Wish! Lose another life, and I fear your game show career will follow your pop career down the drain, my love. Who adopts a Scottish accent to play characters in the Shrek and Austin Powers movies? <laughs> okay, who's gonna get it? I'm a correction. Bye! Before you go, just tell me what you did to make them so furious. Which type of aquatic creature is the sought-after Nemo? Okay, choose who to pie. Ah! Another faux pas, and it's exile to Elba for you and your score. Last life. Which actor won an Oscar for their part in the legendary Gone with the Wind? Right. Here's the answer I wanted. Which Bond only lived twice? <laughs> Time to pie! But who? You decide. Incoming! All pied out. Thousand points for our champ. 500 points for silver. 250 for bronze. And zilch for the first to fall. You may not have majored in pie studies, but you're still in the lead after that round. As last place, you get to pick the category for the next round. Tunes! Coming right up! It's time for you thieves to shine! Buzz in fastest on the right answer and you get to pilfer someone else's points! It's Point Stealer! Oh. Friends, buzz in when you see the picture that answers the question. Who's from the land before time?
good strategy. Wait for everyone else to mess up. Thieve with the coloured buttons. Select more swag for our leader. Love you. Which of these movies has a curious title? Okay, theft is so seductive. If anyone knows that, do. Who is under the sea? Time to get robbing. I know, I know. Once you start stealing, it's impossible to stop. In which movie did director Martin Scorsese voice a character named Sykes? It's Steeler Mania. Choose. Stop whining. You've got plenty of points. He may not be pleasant to look at, but he's still winning. Last place. Accept my charity and pick a category. It's movie buff. All right. Everyone, this is high stakes. Bet high if you know your onions, low if you don't. Or maybe take a risk. Let's play. So what's our first question about? Cautions for losers. Make your stake with your coloured buttons. Okay, all bets in. Question, please. The Born Identity is based upon which writer's novel? Let's see if anyone gets to gloat. <laughs> nice spread of points and humiliation there. Another question comes, and this one's on... Okay, guys, let me feel the fiber of your fabric. Big bets from all of you. Gosh. Which Pulp Fiction actor lends his voice to the incredible Frozone? Uh -huh. If I had a heart, it would be beating faster right now. Good answer to Big Bets. Nice. What's our next question on? Place your bets! Colored buttons! Bets are in and go! Which director brought us Hero and House of Flying Daggers? Sure about that? Life is short, and so am I. Your last topic on the high stakes? Bets, please. How many points do you want to risk? Okay, no more bets. Question, please. In Shall We Dance, which Hispanic hottie teaches Richard Gere all the right moves? Okie dokie. Any of you in the dough or no?
He may not be the coolest customer, but at the end of high stakes, he's still in the lead, and that's that. <laughs> The time has come to fasten your seatbelts. You will be the last one to remain at the end of the final countdown. Points! Points! What you want is time. And the more you've scored, the more seconds you win. Make sure you answer quickly as time is constantly dropping. In the 1969 movie Easy Rider, which customized motorcycle was immortalized? A poptastic first place brings back memories. Hey? Which Ronan tore up Paris in an epic car chase in 1998? <laughs> Careful with these right answers. You're awfully high up there, and I'm not going to catch you if you fall. In which movie does Tom Hanks have a buddy called Wilson? <laughs> right. Step it up! Your buzzing time's being slashed. Who's not one of the Powerpuff Girls? No. Look out! Someone's in more hot water than a Japanese tea bag. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Poe are a bunch of what? Reclaiming the lead that once was yours. Try to hang on to it this time. In the Oscar-winning biopic, Johnny Cash brings down the house in which prison? And with Stinker, your position becomes officially precarious. What does Popeye's pal Wimpy love to eat but struggle to pay for? Okay, I'm taxing your time. You're gonna have to pick it up. In Finding Neverland, Johnny Depp plays which magical children's author? <laughs> Eliminate this! <laughs> In which drama does Michael Schofield try to get out of Fox River? Wait a sec, weren't you in first place just now? Which animation studio brought us the wonderful world of Wallace and Gromit? Uh oh! Two players eliminated simultaneously. Ladies and please put your hands together for our winner! Hands up, who wishes they'd done their homework? Yes, that should have been all of you, but not this man. If nerd power were muscles, he'd be three meters tall and built like a super tank. And tonight, he's coming with me to the most expensive cocktail bar in Europe, where I can regain the social advantage and make him feel small for a change. Good night. Oh, oh, oh. 